now for an official introduction, the fighter fighting out of the blue corner, weighed in at 65.4. He's at 31, stands 5 at 10. He fights out of war dogs and hills from Barnsley, Kyle Potter. And his opponent fighting out of the red corner, weighed in at 63.5. He's at 38, stands 5 at 10. He fights out of body tough and hills from Barnsley, Dave Ross. Your referee, Mr. Stephen Chosen. For this Barnsley Championship, we have Kyle Parton versus Dave Wright. Two Barnsley fighters wearing boxing boots and four ounce MMA gloves. I'm assuming this is. Um, some sort of cage boxing, James. Cage boxing. You know more about the rules than me. It is indeed. So it's cage boxing. It's uh, in four ounce gloves. That's it. That's all the rules. Yeah. You can punch each other a lot. Southpaw stands from right. Parton in that orthodox stance. Becomes a very different game though, boxing here, doesn't it? With with her four ounce gloves on. Yeah, well, it really does. There's no point really having your hands up tight all the time because you can punch around the, the sides and the back. So you get a much more of a, a lower hands and trying to move the head, as we're seeing there. Good head movement, working his way in there. Yeah, nice feints there from Kyle Parton. I think that was a clash of heads that actually caused that. Yeah, Parton with a better head movement so far. Yeah, I do think Parton's doing a good job of feinting, coming in with his head moving. I like going with shots. Dave Wright not really getting up with any solid shots yet. Back to that body though there. Catch a little shot on the way out. Good left hand though. As he's come underneath there. That left did land on the chin slightly. Again, wobbles in this time with that left. Nice big shots there from Kyle Parton. Definitely just looks to have the crisper boxing skill in that first round. Yeah, de definitely the uh, the better stylistic boxer for the two. So is that a cutsman in there with, with the end swell? I didn't see any swelling under. Yeah, there was a Above slight, the left eye was there a slight yeah, swell. That's, a I mean, that's to be expected when you've got these four-ounce gloves on, because any shots land, they're going to do some sort of damage. Yeah, he got caught with, with it. Sort of as he was throwing the shots, I think he caught a left hand at the same time. He got a right hand down the pipe. Caused that little bit of swelling. So this is some Barnsley bragging rights here for the smaller guys. I've got a good friend, Gaz Manners, from Barnsley. But a uh, decent fighter, but very far from these guys. Where they're probably about the same as these two together. <laughs> so round two here. This is Kyle Parton with the blue tape on his gloves. Dave Wright with the red. And this is Cage boxing with four-ounce gloves. So, nice. Orthodox jab there to start from Parton. Yeah, he got a, bit, a little bit more wild then. Did uh, Parton. Good uppercut. Swings with it. Doesn't quite connect though. So even with, the, with these gloves, your parries become very different as well. Yeah, it's a very different game. I actually think... Um, you know, with with working on the bare knuckle shows and working with his cage boxing with the four ounce gloves on, they can really let the hands go 
as much with these four ounce gloves as possible because you don't do the same damage you do in the bare knuckle with your with your hands. You know, so these fighters that once they start to get the distance right, they can really start to let go with the shots at a good distance. And that's exactly what you see from Dave right there. Yeah, right there just really sort of started to swing away, didn't it? Pushed him, pushed, pushed Parton back. Parton taking our centre again though. Interesting how they're not really working off the jab either side. Yeah, I think once they've got the distance, they're throwing the jab out the window and just trying to work on the shots that are going to do the power. You see there, Parton switching between orthodox and southpaw, and makes you wonder, is it just because he's not landing against Wright, who's pretty much a southpaw all the time? Parton does his best work when he gets his left foot to the outside of the lead foot of right, and then he works on that nice left hook over the top and the right cross. Yeah, definitely. Just not, there's not really much going on in that round, if I'm being honest. You know, a bit of movement, but not really any landed shots that was, you know, memorable anyway. Yeah, it just makes you think are they both showing each other a little bit too much respect. I mean, they are letting go of some shots inside of range, but not really committing to combination punching. So going into this third round, it's all to play for him. Yeah, it really is. I mean, if I asked you to score the rounds there for the first two, very difficult to round put, put each. What, you love going one each. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't even think about that, did you? Nope. So I, even fight going into last I, round. I could have not watched it and said round each. <laughs> no, it, it could, could well be a round apiece. It might not be. It could be. <laughs> but as we know, we're not judges, and we're not judging today. So, back to the action, third and final round. So Dave Wright in the red, Kyle Parton in the blue, indicated by that tape on the gloves. Touch of gloves and we will have a third and final round. Yeah, still none of them really, like I say, trying to, trying to effectively use that jab, which is it's a shame, really, because in the first round, Palm was using it well. Still trying to work his way in. He gets that right hand on there, on the button that time. That was definitely a good shot there from, from Parton. Yeah, I mean, Parton has had the best work, I think, moving that head. There's been a couple of aggressive, just little combinations from right, but Kyle Parton has been the one moving the head, getting in, working in behind that head movement and just keeping that little bit busier. Yeah, he's continued to, to, to do what he's doing here. Staying busy, staying in that pocket. Big left hand to the chin there. It's sort of solidifying the round for me for the partner and potentially win this two to one. Yeah, keeping that head moving, coming back out of distance, swinging his Dave right again. Oh, that was a nice jab though. Yeah, like I said, I'd like to see a little bit more of that throughout the fight, but we're not really seeing it so far. He actually switched to orthodox and landed a nice orthodox jab as well there. Good finish um, and some nice work from Dave Wright at the end. And I wish he'd, uh, he'd stepped that up and done that a little bit earlier. Yeah, a couple of good shots. The best ones ever after the bell. <laughs> well, that is the end of the round, end of the fight there. Let's hand it over to the judges for the official decision.
Fighters to the center of the cage, please. Fighters to the center of the cage. Ladies and gentlemen, after three hard four rounds, we go to the judges and scorecard. We have a split decision in favor of your winner in the blue corner. Please show your appreciation for Dave Wright.